Hello everyone, my name is Philip Adu. I'm just going to show you um, how to prepare your data um, after you have transcribed them. I'm talking about qualitative data. How to prepare your data before you upload them onto InVivo. So um, there are two main ways of doing that. You can um, put all your data in a Word document. So let's have, let's assume that you have six participants, right? So you put each of the transcript in uh, for each participant yeah. on um, um, Word document. So as you can see here, let me try to open it for you here. So as you can see here, you have uh, for uh, participant A1, you have uh, their responses for each of the questions. So as I said, you should have all each participant will create a Word document for them and we give them the ID that you'll be using for um, throughout the analysis, so that this participant ID. So you can see here that I have six participants, so we can say A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. And also, the second option is to put all participant responses on Excel spreadsheet and then upload them onto in vivo. Um, so as you can see here, um, the first column will be participant responses concerning um, their rank. And you can see that for the first row, the, the are questions that you um, I ask participant and these are their responses. So you can create uh, a cell of, um, for your data and so you can see that the first column is participant ID and then the second column is the questions that you ask and also their responses. So normally you use Excel when um, their responses are not all that large. Um, uh, so if, as you can see here, uh, the responses is not a lot. So you can put everything in Excel and then transfer them to uh, in vivo. But if their responses are very large, uh, each of them are large, uh, I recommend that you use um, Microsoft Word for each participant. And also you can create demographic um, data uh, for each participant. Um, um, you put them in a cell, so you can see here that this one is for demographic information that I have for participant, each of the participants, six participants. And make sure that the ID that you give the two participants are the same because when you transfer the information to um, in vivo, what will happen is that um, you'll be able to connect Demo individual demographic information to participant uh, main responses, right? You normally create um, demographic um, um, table in a cell when you want to use Microsoft Word. You want to transfer the information to Microsoft Word. If you want to only use Excel, um, with all the data, there's no need for you to create demo demographics um, for participants. So, and and um, don't be confused now. I'm going to demonstrate everything to you for uh, you to see how things are. I just want to show you the two options. As I said, you can create a cell spreadsheet and put all the participant responses in, or you can have individual um, Microsoft Word um, for um, each participant. So that's how uh, before you can transfer them to um, each of the uh, Word document to in vivo. So let me demonstrate how to you know send everything to in vivo. 
Um, so let's assume that you already um, you have chosen that um, you put each participant into Microsoft Word, right? So you open in Vivo. It's taking a little of time. And then, you know, you create a project. So you click on blank and maybe I will say Philips project. Um, and then you can give a description, but it's not needed now. So you just click OK. I think I already have. Uh, so it opens that for you. And so you go to data and then document and you import each document so i'm locating looking for where i save that so you can click on the first one and click on the last so that all the document will be uploaded and then you click on okay So you can see here that all participant um, document uh, or information has um, have been uploaded here. So what next? So what you could do is to create a case for each of the participants, right? Case node. So the case node is a node that or a container that is created for each participant, so that each participant will have the information in one area, right? So you just, if you want to create a case node, you click on the first one and click on the shift and click on the last one and right click. And then you go to create as case node. <clears throat> and then you click on OK. So now you can see that when you go to nodes, And then you click on cases. So you can see here that all participants, they have their cases here. Um, big, a case has been created for each participant. And when you click on one of them, the participant, this is the first participant. You can see here that these are our participant questions. And the questions that we ask participant and their responses here. Um, so that's uh, you after creating a case you want to also import participant demographic information you know i showed you that um, i've created demographic information for participant so you can import that and as i said if you are when you are creating participant demographic information make sure that you use the same id that you have here right the same id that you have here so, um, let's see. But before you import, you can also create a container that you can put all participant cases into. You want to put participant, all the participant cases in one container. So how do you do that? You click here, click, um, um, new folder and maybe you can say um, participant cases right and then so what will happen is that you can just um, highlight or select all of these and then you can drop them in this one so you want to click on participant cases, uh, we can see all the information here, right? Um, another reason is that when you are importing um, the demographic information, um, there was, you have the chance to choose this container so that all the demographic information will be dropped into this container and then it will be connected um, to their respective um, uh, the respective participant, right? So, 
we go ahead and import the demographic information. So how do you do that? You go to data. No, you don't go to the yeah, I think you go to data then classification sheet. Yes. And then you click on browse and you choose demographic information. Um, and then you click on next and it asks uh, I think you want to classify it as case classification and um, you go to next think so and then you click on name us and then you select here so this is where you choose this uh, folder that we created that contains all the cases click on ok and you click on next and you click on finish so you can see here that demographic information has been imported um, and you can see here that um, it has all the ID that you want, you have all the demographic information here, right? So this is how you import demographic information and then after that you can start the data analysis. How do you start the data analysis? You go to sources, you go to, you click on the first document and you can start the coding process. And to be also sure that demographic information are connected, information are, have been connected to each of the participant um, responses. Um, you can go to explore and go to project map. So you can give a name, so name, I just type anything, so name, and I click on all. So here, um, let's see, you, add, you click on add project item, and you want to see participant A, see whether the demographic information has been connected. So you click, right click on it and you go to show association and then you can see here that um, demographic information has been um, Oh, okay. So in order to really find out whether the demographic information has been connected, you have to click on this case, right? Um, you don't check this one. Um, this one is the initial um, Word document that we imported. Well, what you want to see is um, has participant information been connected to the case, right? So this is the case. Um, so you can right click on this and sh click on show association and you can see attribute and you can see participant and you can see here that all the demographic information has been um, sent uh, connected to participant information. So this one will be very good when you are presenting participant characteristics. You can do um, some um, diagram to show participant characteristics in terms of the demographics. Um, so this is how you're going to do it. Another option, uh, let me let me delete this one quickly. Um, another option is to show the connection um, is to go to add and instead of going choosing from here you go to the case you choose from the cases. So let's say you want, want to know more about participant three, right? You click on OK and then right click, click on association. You can see that here, you can go to participant ID and all the information are there concerning demographic. Double click that and it comes to the right side. Double click. So that's how you, go, you can do it. You can also um, add participant, another participant and see the, how they are related to other ones. So let's say participant four. How is participant four related to this? So you right, right click on so and see uh, demographic information will come here. You right click, uh, you right click here. Right click. 
So it looks like Batman 4 and 3, they don't have anything in common in terms of demographics. Uh, to make it nice, you can click on options here, right? And this, so this is how we uh, import information, participant, participant uh, responses in terms of the transcript that you have created in uh, and put and import them and also connect them to the demographic information before you start the coding process. For the next video, I will show you how to import um, Excel um, in case you put all your participant responses in Excel, how do we how do you um, import that information? I will show you from um, the next one video. So thank you for your watching.